let's get an explore here and today and the next few videos we will be in central florida and we're going to start off by going to canova beach park over on the cocoa beach island i'm actually visiting melbourne florida which is um central florida about a less than an hour south of Orlando. So we're gonna be going to the State Beach Park because it is dog friendly and I have Bailey back here if you can see him. He has a cone on right now. He'll be taking that off to go to the park because he can't be trusted. He has stitches in his foot and he had to get those in because he had a biopsy. So we won't be doing too much so he doesn't mess his stitches up and he has boots and everything. So we'll see how long this will be here because this is his first time going to a beach. So we'll see how he likes it. Plus it's hot. So I don't know how long we're going to be here, but um, yeah, so to come over from the mainland of Florida over to the island, there is a bridge and I don't like bridges, but that one wasn't too bad. Um, so yes, let's get out and head over to the beach. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you'll be notified when all of my videos are released on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Time and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And on my channel, I talk about all things travel and some photography. Now, for real, let's head over to the beach. Canova Beach Park is a dog park and there are several rules, such as it is open from dawn to dusk, dogs must be leashed and the leash cannot extend past six feet, owners must be responsible for cleaning up the dog's waist, and so much more. And you can see the rules listed on the sign as you enter the dog park, which is the only place where dogs can enter. Here, Bailey, what is all this sand? <laughs> what is this stuff? Quick tip, make sure your dog uses the restroom before getting set up on the beach. My dog decided to poop right when we got to the place we were going to set up. Luckily, I had not set up yet, but we did have to walk all the way back to the entrance to dispose of it. Okay, of course this guy disposes of one boot so he can just rub his toes in the sand. Oh, this guy, this guy. <laughs> Unfortunately, Bailey packs so much stuff that I forgot to get the umbrella for the beach. So I left that in my garage in Georgia, but make sure you have water for the both of you because he will need it and so will you. So I'm gonna pull out a bottle of water and let him get a sip to stay hydrated. Bailey was so pressed to get down to the ocean that he kept pulling me. So I was like, okay, we're gonna go to the edge and try not to get your feet soaked and messed up. Wish us luck. keeps looking back because he's like, that's it? That's all? So I will have to take him to the beach when he doesn't have stitches in his foot. Oh, no. Go 
back. It's hot. You can't get in the water. You don't want to leave. Come on. Let's go back. There's a um, water thing. Okay, so there are two showers once you exit the beach. There's one which you see over there with a group of people for dogs, and this other one over here is for humans. Dogs are not allowed to use the human shower, so keep that in mind. All right, so let's head back to the car. The parking lot here is free to park in, but it is kind of small, so if it's a very busy day, this parking lot could fill up. I could see that. So let's head on out. So we are back from the beach and he loved it. So if you enjoyed this outing, make sure you hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks and leave any questions you may have down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are.